Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for this presentation on vertical lift modules, commonly referred to as VLMs. In this presentation, we'll go over how VLMs work, commonly seen advantages once implemented, and operational features that generally make VLMs a good fit for a distribution center. Now let's get into how they work. VLMs are enclosed systems of vertically arranged trays stored in both the front and rear of the system with an extractor device operating in the center, which you can see in the photo. It also has a screen that allows you to manage what's going on with the system. The VLM automatically delivers trays with stored items to the access window, um, as shown in this photo to the left. Um, and that's done with a push of a button or a scan of a barcode, um, and you can also generate a list directly imported from your ERP. The trays are stored using the least amount of space and maximizing the storage density within the VLM. And the VLM accomplishes this by scanning the height of the product on each tray and placing the tray in the ideal storage location slot. VLMs are modular, meaning that you can easily add or remove trays as needed, as well as add or take away height of the, of the overall system if you move it to a different location, um, let's say that has different height restrictions. And um, the VLM can also be set up as a standalone or connected to your WMS. This system will is will able to generate a number of reports for you as needed. So these reports can include quantity on hand, which items have been accessed and who accessed them and so on. And there are a number of standard fields that the VLM tracks as well as up to eight customizable fields that you can have the system track and report on that are important to your organization. An example of how of steps taken in a VLM system is shown on the screen in purple. So first step, the picker scans a barcode or pushes a button, or like we mentioned, it is important for, imported from the ERP system associated with the item or pick list that is needed. The VLM retrieves the first product on that pick list and presents it via the tray. Uh, a laser pointer or LED screen will then identify the specific pick location with on the tray um, for the picker to pick from. So the picker is not searching the tray, figuring out which item is the one that they're looking for. It's very clearly indicated via this laser pointer. And then once the item is picked, the picker indicates that the task is complete and the VLM then moves on to the next product on the pick list. And this is all done very quickly. Uh, typically in 30 seconds or less, the VLM will present the next item once the picker indicates that that it do, that they do need that next item. Now let's get into advantages commonly seen once a VLM system is implemented. The first one there is it reduces labor cost. And by delivering items directly to the operator, travel and search time commonly associated with a rack system is drastically reduced. This allows the operator to spend more time picking which increases overall productivity. So oftentimes it, it has been seen um, to be up to two thirds of less labor costs with the VLM system. The second advantage shown is that it increases pick speed. And this really goes hand in hand with the first point. Um, and VLMs can increase productivity. It's been shown up to 500%, of course, depending on what your current operation is doing. And again, it's due to the machine locating and presenting each item to the picker um, that eliminates dwell time in the aisle for the pickers, so they're not searching which aisle they need to go down. And then once they're in that aisle, where within the aisle is the product that they're looking for. So it, it reduces that, basically eliminates dwell time um, by presenting that to the picker of just where they're standing. And like I mentioned, that it, the VLM does present the tray on an average of 30 seconds or less. The next point there is that it saves 75 to 88% of warehouse footprint, meaning that by consolidating a racking or shelving system into a VLM, you will free up 75 to 88% of the current floor space being used to store. 
And I should also mention that VLMs can support up to three access openings vertically, so it can be used in multi-floor operations, and that can be accomplished either via multiple floors or via mezzanines. The next advantage is that it eliminates shrinkage, and the machine tracks everything, as I mentioned. So it knows who used it last, what they did, and so on. So, and there are custom reports that can be generated to see this type of information. And it improves ergonomics. And so the machine will compensate for the height of the picker, and that is specified in their profile. So when a picker starts their shift, they scan their badge or however they check in, and the VLM system recognizes their profile and, accom um, and accommodates the height, the ideal height for that picker. So they're not stooping, they're not reaching up, which is very helpful to the picker. It also lends to that um, increase, increase in picking speed because they're not taking time to stoop or reach up or go get a ladder and so on. Now let's talk about, is a VLM right for you? And these are general characteristics that are typically ideal for a BLM, makes a BLM a right fit for an operation, but these are um, not exhaustive, it's not an exhaustive li list, and a storage system provider such as Rev Storage Systems can work with you to understand your operation and verify if a BLM is right for you. But in general, these are characteristics that are good indicators that a BLM system, it will be beneficial to your operation. And the first one there is distribution centers that store high value items. And this is because the BLM keeps items locked away. And you can also include a feature where it requires a second authorization or a manager level clearance. And you can actually also restrict this by individual tray. So the, the majority of the trays within the BLM can be accessible by any level clearance, but then you can have two which contain higher value items that can, that will require a manager level clearance. So companies that store high value items find this to be very beneficial. Distribution centers that perform kitting, such as, for example, building a GPS unit. You can have the screens, buttons, circuit boards, etc., all on one tray so that everything the person needs is there on one tray and it cuts down on time. You can include um, also all your fast movers, for example, on one tray. So if you have certain items that are typically fast movers or purchased together, you can have those all in one tray and that will cut down on picking time as well. If you store small parts or do partial case picks, you know that it's typically harder to manage small parts inventory, as well as it lends then to higher mispick rates. So a VLM really cuts down on that. It organizes the products. It clearly shows the picker which of those small parts on the tray they need to pick, and so it cuts down on mispicks. Distribution centers that store parts that need to remain clean will find this beneficial since the inventory is stored in an enclosed unit. Um, so it keeps them clean. It's not being exposed to that dust and just the elements within a warehouse. And that also, if you have slow turning inventory, for example, that can be beneficial. If you are currently using a tote or bin storage system, typically this is a good indication that a VLM is a good fit and will provide benefit to your operation. This is because the VLM basically does the same thing as a tote or bin storage system, but in a more efficient, efficient dense manner. Distribution centers that perform batch picking is the last point there. And if you are picking the same products for multiple customers, the machine will clearly indicate how many batches are needed and how many of each item to pull for each batch. So that really cuts down on just confusion when picking um, the same product for multiple orders. And then one thing I'll add here that's not shown on the screen is that if you have a multilingual warehouse, VLMs are fluent in multiple languages, in many different languages, actually. So it will recognize which language is the preferred language of the picker. Um, again, that's set up in their profile that the VLM will recognize when they log in. And the last thing I want to mention here is that incorporating VLMs into an integrated material handling system is 
is very beneficial. So by including BLMs as, the, as a part of a full system will improve the efficiency of a distribution center. And, and it's typically included as an old part of an overall material handling system. Um, and so I list here some of the things that are very good complements to a BLM. So that would be conveyors. Um, so conveyors can help take product from the BLM system down to the uh, down to be packed and shipped and, and or whatever the next step is. Um, a put wall, put to light, which is shown here, um, then can t you can you know take the product that is picked from the BLM and then the put wall makes that process of putting them into their individual uh, cartons for shipping much faster of a process because it's very clear when they need to put the, the products. And then of course, pallet racking. I mean, pallet racking is, this does not make pallet racking obsolete. It makes it part of the system where maybe they're storing uh, the overflow of, of certain products to replenish the BLMs. And this photo shown on the screen actually incorporates all four of those, including the BLM. Um, so you can see the BLM is actually this panel, the, uh, the bank of BLMs in the back here where they're picking from. The conveyor takes it down to the put wall here, um, and then you see the pallet racking in the background. And that is the entire presentation. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this, and I hope you found it beneficial. Rev's contact information is on the screen, and we, again, are a systems integrator. We provide from the beginning to end, from layout to final walkthrough of all different types of material handling systems. And we would be happy to help walk you through if a VLM is right for you uh, or what material handling overall system is right for you. Thank you.